CJ here at San Diego Comic Con, and I'm here with the mocap man himself, Richard Dorton. How's it going, sir? Doing great, thank you. So I have to ask this, you know, you've done motion capture for a variety of video games, different spectrums and stuff, movies and such. Has there ever come a point in time you've done mocap mo for a video game, and then you see the final product, and you're like, that's it? Like, you know, you kind of feel slightly disappointed. Um, I, I, you know, early on in my career, uh, I think because the technology wasn't so, I, I, it was what it was at that time, yeah. and then you see a game, and you're like, oh, I wish, I wish the animation was better, or I wish, yeah. you know, the technology was better. But to see it grow from when I started, it's incredible to be the like. Sometimes it was, I'm the only person that you can capture. I'm talking to myself in scenes. I'm working. I'm playing five different characters to now where you can work with other actors and you can have 20 people in a scene. It's, it's incredible. So the technology, I mean, that's just part of the trend. You're you're watching that. So I don't think I've ever. Well, can I, do you have that? You don't have to say names, but I'm no. just saying. Just Is there wrong. a game? There there has been a game that I, I saw that got altered into a new game, mm -hmm. and I'm like. I, I saw it in like the 4.99 bin, and I was like, no! It's like, why? It's like when you get a game canceled. I worked yeah. on uh, Aliens Colonial Marines, the one, oh, and that game was so good. Yeah. I mean, I got to play Bishop, I got a chestburster scene, you know, facehugger scene, and you're like, I can't wait for this game, and then they killed it. And, and, and it, was, it was brutal. It was brutal. Um, so, you also did the uh, one of the heads of King Ghidorah in Godzilla, so... How did that come about? Because that's something that I would never thought would happen. They would actually get somebody to do mo capture for something like that. Uh, yeah, I play the left head, also known as Kevin now through the memes and stuff. But um, uh, it was really great that um, the the director wanted three actors to play Ghidorah. You know, so we we each had different personalities, and and the they brought us in uh, for a meeting first, and they just wanted to talk to us and give, give you know get our impression of what we thought about it and. Uh, he, you know, the, Michael Tardy said, we want these heads to have different personalities, so we're going to hire three different actors. We're going to use you for reference. Um, and, I mean, you can see in our expressions and what we do that they, they really follow that in the animation. And it, it was incredible. I mean, it, the movie is just like wild. It's a just, dream role. Oh, it's a dream role to, to, to play King Ghidorah. I mean, it's awesome. But, but I, got, I had two other great actors that I share that with, you know, so... It's pretty awesome. So you also done Uncharted. I love that series from like, came out on PS3 all the way up to now. Now for you seeing the evolution of the series and seeing all these different characters and just the environment of itself, how has that been seeing that, that series just evolve the way it did, especially from the visual standpoint? It, it was in, incredible to be a part of it because when you're playing the game, a lot of the times you're playing me. I'm the body of Nathan Drake, yeah. you know? And then, I mean, Nolan North is an incredible voice actor, and he did the cinematics. But, you know, I also got to play soldiers. I got to play the descendants. You're playing the creatures. You you know, you're all part of that. Um, I'm doing stunts. I did a lot of stunts for Nathan Drake, so. I mean, how extensive are the stunts, especially when you, like, actually, no, that's a good question. When you're doing stunts for video games like that, how is that whole thing set up? It's different in, like, in a movie, you know, you, you have to, um, you have to rely on the environment, you know, car chases, all that stuff, are, that's practical. In a mocap environment, I have a stunt pads that I can fall on, because you're never gonna see that. Um, I, you, you, you don't have to worry about hiding wires and all that things, so you have to be creative. Um, that, that's the difference. It's still hard work, because it's all about timing, it's all about uh, making sure you hit the deck hard, you know, and things like that, and, and it's, it's a lot of physical work. That's the, motion capture is very, very physical when you're doing the in-game stuff like that. We talked to Johnny on Bosch last year yeah. when he was doing Devil May Cry, and he was like, yo, him and, yeah, it was extensive. It's tough. It's tough. Your body takes a beating. I, I tell, I teach now motion capture, and, and I tell my students, you know, it's your turn to get punched in the face, because I've, I've been punched, I've been punched for 100 games, it's time to pass it on to the next generation, you know? <laughs> But it, it's incredible to see that that series, you know, grow, and and the story. I mean, the the were you in the last game? The um, lost was it Lost Legacy? No, I, oh. I, the, the last one I did was the PSP, uh, the like Golden, Golden Abyss. Golden, Golden, Golden yeah, Abyss. Yeah, Golden so I, um, I I did a lot of the in-game stuff for the bad guy Navarro, yeah. and um, a lot of the fight stuff. But to see that also the technology change and how you. Um, how you can create fight scenes in that, because they said to us, because normally you, you, 
work out the choreography, and they would say, we need a fight sequence here. And we'd go, how long does it have to be? And they'd go, however long you want it to be. Whatever you want to do. I'm like, can I smash his head in with the refrigerator? And they're like, sure, let's try that. So to see the evolution of that change has been incredible. So um, you also mentioned, I, I happen to overhear that you also did Master Chief. I worked on Halo Wars. Halo uh, Wars? Yeah. So what, like, you know, granted, that's, again, that's a different game entirely from what you get with the first-person shooter. So how was that experience doing Halo Wars? I think that's like RTS, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so how was, actually, you know, how is it doing the RTS for something like that? You know, we worked out a lot of different things. Um, like, you're playing Master Chief. You're, but, you know, we concentrated a lot on the, um, the Jeep stuff, you know, and the driving stuff. And then I also wore jumping stilts to try to get the elites. You know, we were move, working on trying to find different kind of uh, movement, you know, so that so it, it would feel different for the next generation or the next vision of it because it's, um, but you're, you're playing Master Chief, you know, you have a certain attitude, you have a, you know, it's, it, it, when you're playing the hero, you take that stuff really, really serious because, because the, um, the level of, of detailing that they give you of what you can and can't do and things like that, you know, that, that's, it's, that's a lot of work and it's a, but it's an honor, you know, to be able to say, I'm, I'm Master Chief. I mean, you're part of a franchise, yeah. that was stuff. So lastly, um, if you had like a top three of your fave mocap that you have done, what would that be? Uh, I would have to say Left 4 Dead because when you play Left 4 Dead, you're, I am the heroes yeah. and I'm all the zombies. So I mean, when you play Left 4 Dead, that's me. That, yeah. that is really a Richard Dorton game, you know, yeah. from, from top to bottom. Um, I, I was the original Red Dead Revolver. So, yeah, I played that game a lot. So to, to be Red, you know, to be Red, that was, I mean, it was a Western game. Nobody had done one yet. So that was really, really cool. Um, Ghostbusters. I, when you play Ghostbusters, I am the player character. I am Peter Venkman in the in the cinematics, and I'm the face capture of all the characters. You know, I mean, and, and they're bringing it back, right? They're, yeah, they're it's HD. yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. But I, there are so many Pyramid Head in Silent Hill. You know, like I, Wolverine in X Men Legends. I have played a variety of characters, and then this last Borderlands Three trailer. You know. I play Flack and uh, in, in the trailer, uh, you know, so th there's the big difference between like doing some of the in-game stuff and then just doing the trailer stuff, the cinematics. I mean, now it's, you know, cinematics and games are so good. It's, it's, it's you have to be good actors, you know, and that's, that's the, that's pretty special to be able to, to be in a game like that, you know. Well, I appreciate you taking time. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks. Awesome.